Hey guys, it's JW Gaming here, and today we're going to be talking about the attack plane in Battlefield 1. Now, if you don't know, uh, this is one of the three planes that are in Battlefield 1, the three types of planes, and for some reason I have been gravitating to them a lot more recently ahead of the fast jets in Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3. I think this is a bit because they're a little bit slower and a little bit easier to be precise with. With the attack jets, you really have to have a long run-up sometimes if you wanted a good accurate burst at a tank or something like that. So, uh, I think these are... Um, a really interesting concept because of course they're period accurate so they're a lot slower um, which makes them easier to aim but also it makes it easier for anti-air to target them and the anti-air in this game is very very strong uh, because there are no uh, shoulder launched ro uh, rockets so no lock on weapons the ground emplacement um, anti-air so the stationary static turrets are very very strong and they really have to be targeted to take them out now onto the uh, attack plane, it is one of the three planes as I said, the other ones being the fighter and the bomber, if you want videos on those they will come out shortly, but this attack plane has been my favourite and go to plane now for a little bit. So the weapons on it you have a choice, you can either have a small calibre machine gun, uh, which is good for anti-infantry, anti-plane, uh, anything that basically you just want to put a lot of rounds uh, and you don't have to be all that accurate sometimes. So much like a lot of the weapons in uh, previous games on other jets. Uh, you can also get, which is my personal favourite at the moment, what is effectively an artillery piece strapped to the bottom of your plane. Now, yeah, it's a little bit ridiculous, but it's really, really good fun and very effective. It does have a massive drop on it, so you really have to... It's really a case of just getting used to the drop and just timing it properly. So you will have to, even at close range, aim above your target. That's the way to uh, that they have tried to balance this, because it is very powerful and is very good at specifically anti-tank and anti-armoured train uh, uses. It can also be used as anti-infantry because there is a good amount of splash damage but you do have to be fairly close to them to get a kill. Uh, you will also target horses even though sometimes it won't kill horses in one hit if you've noticed now. Uh, horses don't even die with one hit of a light tank which is pretty ridiculous, they're pretty OP but that makes them more, even more entertaining to be honest. But back to the aircraft, uh, it's pretty manoeuvrable. Uh, which is because it is one of the smaller planes. It's not quite as manoeuvrable as the fighter, I don't believe, but it will still give the fighter uh, the run for its money, and it will, of course, uh, be a lot more manoeuvrable and a lot quicker than the bomber. So uh, each of these weapons um, can be used, uh, each of the primaries, sorry, can be used as anti-bomber stuff as well. I found that the artillery piece was very useful because it will pretty much kill the bomber or disable it in one hit. You just have to be accurate with it because it's uh, it does have a lot of dip, as I said. The third uh, option for the primary weapon are rockets, which are very good at anti, um, anti-airship and also can be used as ground targets as well because there are quite a lot of rockets in a barrage. So uh, with each of these primaries you get a secondary of two bombs that can be dropped on a bomb run. Uh, pretty similar actually to the JDAM in Battlefield 4. So you get a downwards view of the battlefield and you'll just drop your bombs uh, whenever the, uh, the target comes into your crosshairs. They are very very effective against infantry and against armour. Uh, it's really a case of just timing it well uh, because of course the slower you move to make it easier to time well the easier it is for ground targets to hit you and obviously now all small arms can do damage to planes as well. So that makes it a little bit more difficult as with pre uh, as opposed to previous battlefields where small arms from all the other classes except engineer couldn't hit you. So the only t um, the only group of uh, or the only class that could hit you was the engineer with rockets or lock on weapons. So that really makes the attack jet I think a really good attack plane sorry the a very good addition to this game because it provides something that's very very different from anything we've seen before especially this artillery piece which becomes very very much good fun to use. So if you like this video guys uh, please leave it a like if you disliked it give it a dislike and tell me what you didn't like about it and if you've got any ideas for more videos or anything any questions you want to ask me leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one bye